Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will explain types of flap for maxillary impacted third molar teeth. The mucoperiosteal flaps used for the uh, extraction of impacted maxillary third molar are similar to the uh, mucoperiosteal flaps used for mandibular third molar impacted teeth. These are the enveloped uh, triangular and extended triangular flaps. Now, this is a uh, envelope flap. Uh, here you can see that uh, it starts on the distal aspect of the uh, second molar. As you can see that it's, it starts on the uh, maxillary tuberosity area and will reach till the uh, second distal aspect of the second molar. Here it will continue mesially. Here it will continue mesially uh, over the cervical area or buccal uh, or you can say a gingival sulcus and, and continue towards the mesial side towards the first molar and ends at the mesial aspect of the first molar. Start Start on the maxillary tuberosity area or on the distal aspect of the uh, second molar reaching at the distal aspect of the second molar and along the uh, uh, along the cervical lines or you can see a uh, uh, gingival sulcus uh, is around or you can see around the necks of the teeth towards the mesial side and uh, towards the first molar ke mesial aspect pe ye kya hoga yahan pe finish hoga theek ho gaya there is no vertical releasing incision theek ho gaya ab isko yahan pe dekhein reflect karke dikhaya gaya hai ye aapko you can see here the impacted maxillary third molar and this is reflected theek ho gaya yahan aap reflect karenge basic principles wahi follow kiye gaye hain theek hai na jo aapne first chapter mein padhe hain now, uh, here you can see another diagram. This is an envelope flap, okay? Distal aspect, say, they can shuru and maxillary tuberosity area, say, okay? Continue hai, towards the distal aspect of the, kya hai? Uh, second molar pe and around the necks are in gingival sulcus ke, and it will reach the mesial aspect of the uh, first molar. Thik ho gaya? Yahan pe aake ye hatam ho gaya. A me, ye B me dekhe, isko reflect kiya gaya hai. And here you can see that when the soft tissue is reflected, bone overlying the third molar is easily uh, visible or you can see visualized. Ho gaya? So this envelope flap, here you can see this is the most commonly used flap for removal of maxillary impacted teeth. And this is also most commonly used for the mandibular teeth as well as we discussed in previous videos. Now, uh, this is the second one that is a triangular flap. Uh, you should know the landmarks of the triangular flap. And uh, it starts on similarly on the distal aspect uh, of the second molar ticket, maxillary tuberosity area bay, aega, and then it will move uh, towards the distal aspect of the second molar bay. And here it will go uh, a vertical. There, this is a vertical releasing incision. Okay, now the vertical releasing incision is coming. So we will call it distal extension. Okay, we will call it mesially vertical releasing incision. Or mesial. Okay, uh, clear? Okay, this is what happened. Just as we said in the mandibular, this is similar to mandibular. Okay, this is a posterior extension or distal extension theek hai ya distal releasing is incision bhi aap isko keh sakte hain distal really a uh, distal releasing incision bhi keh sakte hain distal incision bhi keh sakte hain theek hai reaches at the distal aspect aur yahan pe aapne line angle se vertical releasing incision lena hai theek ho gaya ye dekhiye isko uh, reflect kiya gaya hai theek hai yahan pe dekhiye line angle pe wahi uh, principles follow karne hain first chapter wale theek ho gaya so you will you can reflect and now it is a easily visible and you can remove the maxillary third molar by using the uh, triangular mucoperiosteal flap now we will come to the extended triangular flap 
Uh, this is a variation of a standard triangular uh, incision uh, and the vertical resistance incision extend as far as the distal aspect of the first molar. And this extended triangular flap is used when you need a larger uh, access, okay? Jab aapko uh, or access pe chahiye, okay? To ki position aisi ho third molar ki ya uske saath cyst wagaira ya kuch or pathology ho jiski wajah se aapko larger access chahiye ho, okay? Ham de isko bhi samajhte hain is diagram mein, dekhe ke jo distal releasing incision hai ya distal incision hai, wo usi tarah hai, reaches the distal aspect of the second molar, okay? And then around the cervical area or uh, gingival sulcus ke and reaches the mesial aspect. Jabke standard jo humne uh, uh, triangular jo mucoperiosteal flap ka tha, wo yahaan pounch ke we take a vertical releasing incision, thik hai? Vertical releasing incision humne yahaan diya tha. Jabke extended mein it is on the mesial aspect line angle jo yahaan banega, thik hai? Mesial aspect of the second molar ke aapne vertical releasing incision dena hai, thik hai na? Ye dekhe, isko reflect kiya gaya hai, word extended triangular mucoperiosteal flap ko, yahan se ye iska distal hai, thik hai, yahan pounch ki mesial vertical releasing incision hai, aur ye flap ko uh, reflect kiya gaya hai. Now, if you will take a standard triangular incision, thik hai, a flap, to yahan aapko phir karna padega, thik hai, you will take a vertical releasing incision over here and so it will not give you a proper accessibility a visualization theek hai na ab yahan se bond remove karenge to aapka jo flap hoga wo bhi tear hoga aur jab aap iske upar flap ko rakhenge to yahan pe kya hoga dehiscence ke chances honge because you will uh, suture on the unhealthy bone to yahan aap one to the way chale gaye hain aur isko kehte hain extended triangular flap yahan dekhen uh, dusri picture mein you can see here the distal uh, aspect se shuru hua hai thik hai usi tarike se uh, um, maxillary tuberosity pe jo uh, distal extension hai posterior extension hai thik hai reaching the distal aspect of the second molar and then on the mesial aspect pe aapne of the second molar pe aapne kya vertical releasing incision diya hai thik hai so vertical resin incision aapne vestibule ki taraf diya hai usi principles ko follow karti hui hai theek hai jo general principles hain of the flap design mein is tarike se aapko greater access milti hai theek hai na to dusra ye hai ki dekhiye yahan reflected hai aapko more api peri apical jo region hai jo wo zyada nazar aa raha hai to zyada visibility hai aapko as compared to the standard triangular mucoperiosteal flap ke Thank you, wish you best of luck.